Pennsylvania Republican Congressman Tim Murphy says he will not seek re-election after reports he asked his mistress to have an abortion. The lawmaker who has opposed abortion said in a statement he is taking time, quote, to seek help as my family and I continue to work through our personal difficulties. The announcement comes just one day after the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette published apparent text messages between Representative Murphy and his alleged mistress. Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. The final straw appears to have been a newly published memo in which Murphy's top staffer here on Capitol Hill reportedly accuses him of fostering an abusive workplace environment. But even before that, he was fending off accusations of hypocrisy over his public and private stances on abortion. It is not just some amorphous cells there floating about. But these are real beings. For more than a decade on Capitol Hill, Pennsylvania Congressman Tim Murphy has backed a pro-life agenda. And we have every right to protect those lives as part of our responsibility as men and as fathers. But according to the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette, in January, Murphy's alleged mistress, Shannon Edwards, texted him saying, you have zero issue posting your pro-life stance all over the place when you had no issue asking me to abort our unborn child just last week. Murphy reportedly responded, I get what you say about my March for Life messages. I've never written them. Staff does them. The bill is passed. The story unfolded just as the House approved legislation Tuesday that would make abortions after 20 weeks illegal. Murphy, a member of the House Pro-Life Caucus, co-sponsored and voted for the bill. The Post-Gazette also obtained a memo reportedly written by Murphy's chief of staff in June that claims staffers have been exposed to angry, aggressive and abusive behavior from the congressman, which has led to a nearly 100 percent turnover within one year's time. On a recent visit to his home district, she writes, your driving was dangerous and erratic. I feared for my life. I repeatedly, at least 15 times, asked you to stop texting. Murphy's hostility and insults, she adds, were frightening. Murphy's ex-mistress's pregnancy scare turned out to be a false alarm, and he has made his decision now to retire after meeting with House Speaker Paul Ryan. But he says, Gail, he will serve out his remaining 15 months in office. All right. Thank you, Nancy.